The whole process for me was pretty disrespectful. Um, the, the agenda was set in around well, what they wanted. Uh, they didn't want to hear our voices on sovereignty. Uh, they, they were disrespectful on, on how they consulted. Um, and they didn't consult with all the grassroots mob and, you know, uh, not, not allowing all Aboriginal, Aboriginal people and Torres Strait Islander people to come in and have their say, because this affects us all. So I, I um, attended the Sydney Dialogue and uh, they, they held 12 forums around, around the nation um, and trying to put all plans into to, to all these dialogues, which I, I just thought was, was shocking. Um, the, the agenda was set, so I attended Sydney, moved the motion for, for them to hold a, a um, consultation dialogue, as they call it, uh, here in Canberra. Um, everything was held under secrecy. They, they, they got the United Nunnawal Elders Council and basically an elected body to discuss this, but not all Nunnawal senior elders were consulted about it. And we had a meeting about it here the other day. Um, because, because of the people that were picked, um, for me attending, for me attending Uluru, um, you know, there, there, there was there were certain delegates that were picked, and the first thing that I got up and I talked about was the the conflict of interest of having conveyors come in and, and to have their say because they've persuaded the conversations throughout throughout the the, um, the dialogues. And I don't, didn't think it was their place to actually to take part of that. And others that attended the dialogue, you know, that were actually handpicked throughout the nation, um, which they got their numbers. I felt disrespected in the whole process as an Aboriginal woman, um, because a consultation process is very important for us as peoples to sit and talk about the, the conversations and how, it's, how the constitution will affect us. Uh, out of those meetings that I did attend, sovereignty was brought up at all, all times about protecting that and they could never ever answer how our sovereignty could be, be protected. I spoke to Noel Pearson on several occasions to actually get up and talk to, talk to me and the rest of the people that were in that meeting about how it protects our sovereignty. Not one city attempt to, to stand. Um, Uluru was, 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 was a big shake up for me and, and I felt a bit traumatized from it. Uh, being kicked out of a, a meeting that, that's meant to be a national voice for all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. Um, being shut down, like with the mics being turned down or blurred up or uh, you know, uh, women talking about, um, I won't go into that, I'll talk to the women about that later. Um, yeah, for me, I just felt the whole process was disrespectful. They haven't consulted with all peoples and I think that we all have a voice and a say within this. Um, so I was happy to walk out of that meeting up at Uluru um, with my elders. And you know, this is a part of who I am. It's my birthright, my sovereignty, and, and our sovereignty is, is all our birthright. And I'm about protecting our land, our heritage, uh, trying to protect our languages, and 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 you know, to my belief, that that will all be taken away if we um, if we go into this constitution. And we all know that sitting around here, we we know how it impacts us, and. Um, one thing that stands out for me is, is it just disgraced me because I don't know how other, uh, other Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people can stand there and sell their own people out on their own country and their land and who we are, our identity. I don't want to be known as under the, the crown as an Australian citizen. I'm Aboriginal, I'm a Ngunnawal Radri woman. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. I just wanted to include too that um, after some of the Ngunnawal people here met with some senior elders, we actually went and confronted Chris Burke and Jenny Gordon, who are the representatives for this for for this region, who are not of Ngunnawal descent. Uh, they come from Gumaroy and uh, Johnny Come Lately, 
black fellow they reckon she's black now, but she got told by the elder that she's not Ngunnawal and she don't come from here and that her, her family was white from Yass. And they got told to stand down from a Ngunnawal elder, a senior Ngunnawal elder, and that they don't represent. They are disgusted in this process and they don't support it. Um, I just want to make that clear to, to everyone about our mob here um, with, with our senior elders and, and families. Because no one's been consulted but um, this mob got stood down. They tried to come to us and with the same uh, public document about how our sovereignty is um, safe. Uh, yeah. Bill, did you want to add any more to that? Where is Billy T? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, we got two others. Oh, I'll open that. Clayton, do you want to tell us about the 